Okay, good afternoon and welcome back everyone to our options education webinar series. My name is Tony Zhang. I am the Chief Strategy Officer here at Options Play and I am very excited to be launching this new platform, the new Options Play platform and doing a walkthrough for everyone here today. We have been working on this platform for a very long time. It is so great to be able to introduce this platform and walk you through it and show you the new features that are uh, included in this new platform and talk a little bit about what's ahead now that we have the new platform up and running. So before we get started, what we are going to discuss today is purely for education and demonstration purposes. It is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell any specific securities. And I'll just say before I jump into it that the new platform is uh, here for feedback. We encourage anyone here who's using the new platform to provide uh, your thoughts because we will be incorporating them. We have incorporated a lot of the feedback that many members have shared with us over the past year or so into the new platform. And there are a lot more enhancements coming down the line now that we have the new platform up and running. So today what I'll do is I'll introduce you to the new Options Play platform, show you how to enable it if you have not already done so, um, walk you through the platform itself, showing you how to enable. And also if you wanna switch back to the classic platform, uh, you know you wanna use the, uh, the, the platform that you're used to, you're free to do so, I'll show you how to go back to it. But I think once you see the portfolio tracking and the paper trading, you're gonna to wanna to stick to the new platform. We have three new automated option strategies built into the new platform. We have charting enhancements, and we also have a mobile platform that is launching alongside with the new platform. So a lot to come in this new platform. And I hope many of you uh, have already seen it and used it and provided some feedback. But for you, for those of you that have not, we're gonna walk you through it and show you what's to come uh, with the Q&A here at the very end. But the primary thing that I want to walk everyone from today's session is, a, uh, you know, away from today's session is a clear understanding as to what new features are included in the new options play platform and what you can expect from us going forward over the next few months. So just to, you know, let everyone know, many of you probably already have seen the emails in your inbox with how to enable the new app. But if you have not enabled the new app, you can simply go to your name in the upper right hand corner on your platform. And when you do on the drop down menu, you will see there's going to be um, an option called preview new app. If you click on that link, it will enable the new app for you on your profile. And keep in mind, once you enable that app, Every time you open up Options Play, it will give you the option. It will automatically log you in to the new app until you tell us that you want to switch back to the classic one. I'll show you here in one minute as to how, go, how to go about doing that. But in the new platform, there's going to be a bunch of updates that I want to walk you through here today. The major update is now you can enter your portfolio and track it along with paper trading. That's made a lot easier using the portfolio tool. I'll show you how to set that up how to place some trades, paper trades, or real trades for tracking in your portfolio purposes. And then I'll walk you through some of the enhancements on the platform. We have now credit spread strategies, um, and neutral strategies that are automated on the, on the platform, probably one of the most requested features from our members. We have a bunch of charting updates to address some of the shortcomings of our charting package that we've had over the past couple of years. Um, based on the feedback that you've provided and showing you how to go about utilizing all of these new features on the platform. And I think always the best way to go through this is by going through the platform itself. So let me just show you the new platform here. This is the new and improved trading platform. Now, keep in mind, the design is brand new in terms of the look and feel. The features are still the same, meaning everything that you saw in the old platform, you'll be able to do in the new platform. It's just that this new technology platform allows us to build enhancements and new features much quicker and features that we want to build that the old technology platform uh, you know, had limitations. So by upgrading to this new platform, we can now do a lot more things on the mobile platform as well. So 
a lot to share with you here today. But at the core of it, you know, you have a brand new design that's a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to uh, on the eyes and easier to navigate. Um, but like I said, same new features with some new enhancement. I want to walk you through those one by one. The big one is really portfolio tracking and paper trading. Now that's gonna take me a bit of time to walk you through that, but I just wanna quickly show you some of the new things that are coming um, in your trade ideas. What you now have is the ability to expand each of the trade ideas and see not only the, the trade idea itself, but also the liquidity of the symbol and the implied volatility rank. A lot of uh, members have asked us to quickly sort through the filter, um, the trade ideas list based on liquidity and implied volatilities. We've now added that into your trade ideas section. I'll be walking you through later some of the charting enhancements that we have, but a bunch of new indicators have now been added. The ability to take, see a much larger chart, uh, saving your indicators, um, drawing tools. These are all enhanced in the new charting package. You now have three neutral strategies. Before we had bullish strategies and bear strategies. Now we've added high implied volatility neutral strategies. So the credit spreads that many of you have been asking, you know, have, how, to, how to have automated bullish and bearish credit spreads using the exact best practices that we teach. This is now included in your new package or new trading platform. And lastly, portfolio tracking and paper trading. This is really where I want to spend most of my time here today walking you through because a lot of you have asked us, how do I upload my portfolio for tracking? How do I paper trade a portfolio and track that paper trade portfolio? This is now built into the new platform. And so I want to walk you through and spend some time going through some examples and showing you how this works. So when we look at the portfolio, the first thing that I want everyone to do before you um, utilize the portfolio tool is to go in there and create your portfolios. I encourage you to create portfolios not only for your live account, but also create a paper trading portfolio. You can create as many portfolios as you want. So if you have a Tastyworks, a TD, a Schwab account, you can create three live trading accounts to track your three trading accounts and then create a paper trading portfolio for new strategies or strategies you're looking to learn or just paper trade. Um, so create as many portfolios as you need, but I encourage you to do um, you know, one for each of your real accounts and at least one paper trading portfolio. And to do so, what you do is you click on the portfolio tool in a uh, portfolio tab in the upper left hand corner and you click on the manage button that'll allow you to manage your portfolios and when you click on the manage button you'll see you can create a new portfolio so when you're starting off you're not going to have any portfolios so you can go in there and create new portfolios you can create them for the trades that you're going to make so for example if you have a schwab account um, you can type in Schwab, you know, maybe your account nickname or whatever it is that you like to name your accounts and click on save. And once you do that, you will now have a new portfolio called your Schwab account. You can create one for your TD account. I have one created for my paper trading portfolio. You can create as many of these as you like, but before we do uh, any further, um, please make sure that you go in there and create your portfolios. If you don't have the manage button, I suggest that you log out and log back in. You should be able, you should have that button. But if you don't, you can always contact our customer support staff, which you can do using the questions ask us button here on the upper left, upper right hand corner, and our customer support team will be able to help uh, help you get enabled for the portfolio tool. But what we do is we go back to the app. And I want to show you how to add positions to your portfolio, whether this is a real position that you currently have in your portfolio or a, a one that you want to paper trade. You can go back to your trade ideas tab. Maybe you're looking at some of the trade ideas and you want to trade this in your real portfolio or trade this in your, in your um, uh, practice portfolio, clicking on a specific symbol. The features of the platform are still the same. But like I said, now we've added neutral strategies. So perhaps you might want to look at trading some of these neutral strategies on a specific stock. You can click on any of these stocks 
and click on neutral and instantly see three bullish, three bearish, and three neutral strategies. So let's say you were bullish here on Bristol Myers on healthcare needs, and you want to sell a put credit spread. Well, you can now use the tools to instantly find the April 22nd, 6865 put vertical. This is using the 45 day selling the 50 delta, buying the 25 delta put vertical spread. This is something we teach a lot in our credit spread courses. Uh, if you're trading, um, uh, if you've used our credit spread trading opportunity report, these are the exact strike prices that our uh, report would select. This is now automated for you for any stock that you type in, not just the stocks in our reports. This will allow you to uh, find credit spread opportunities on any stock that you enter and have the optimized expiration dates and strike prices for you to evaluate. And you can see how much you can potentially make versus how much you can potentially uh, risk and see whether this is suitable for you. Now, if this is a trade that you've either already placed in your portfolio or you're looking to place in your portfolio, when you click on the trade button, there is now an option to add the position to a specific portfolio. And this is what you can use to add the position to a live portfolio or to your paper trading portfolio. So let's say this is a trade that I've placed in my TD Ameritrade account. I can, from the drop down, select my TD Ameritrade account, click on add position, and this position will now be added to my TD Ameritrade portfolio. Now, before I go to the portfolio and show you these tools, uh, show you the tracking of it, I just wanna show you adding a few more positions to uh, different accounts, to paper trading, just so you can see how easy it is to find a trade, set it up, and add it to a portfolio that you have. So let's say you were looking at um, let's take a look at Visa, for example. Um, and let's say I have a bullish view here on Visa and I'm playing for a bounce here and I'm looking at some bullish positions. Maybe I want to trade this debit spread. I can click on uh, modify. I can change the strike prices if I'd like. So maybe if instead of the 195, 230, I want to switch it to the 200, 230 strike prices. The same features you have on the old platform, you still have on the new platform. But now when you click on the trade button, I can simply add this trade to, let's say, my paper trading account because I'm not familiar with debit spreads and I'm still learning and I want to figure out how to track these uh, using a fake portfolio. I can add this to my paper trading portfolio. And as you can see, I can easily add quite a few different positions in my portfolio very, very quickly. And lastly, what I want to show you is let's say I executed a trade a few weeks ago and I'm trying to still, and I want to track that portfolio. So I want to, I want to track that trade. Let's say a few weeks ago, um, you know, I was bearish on Facebook and I bought a put spread. I want to show you how you can use the tools. Um, actually, let me use a different symbol. Let me use, um, what's a symbol that I haven't looked at? Um, let's look at Walmart. Let's say I had uh, a few weeks ago, I put on a neutral position here on, on, on Walmart. Let's say I sold this straddle. It doesn't really matter what the position is, but let's say uh, a few weeks ago, I sold this straddle, straddle and I could click on trade again. Uh, I'll add it to my TD Ameritrade account this time, or maybe I'll add it to my Schwab account this time, and I can click on the position. And the purpose of doing this is I want to show you when if I want to take a look at the premiums that I sold this strategy, um, you know, let's say three weeks ago versus what it is trading today, how you can easily use our portfolio tool to change the premiums of the trades that you were executed at. But first, what I'll do is I'll show you the portfolio tool by clicking on the portfolio tab, and this will now show you your positions across your multiple portfolios. Now, most of you are familiar with the daily play portfolio. This allows you to track the existing open positions in our daily play. Now you can create your own portfolios and track the positions that you've created. So if we look at the TD Ameritrade account that I was looking at before, this is the Bristol Myers trade that I just added into the portfolio. Now I can track the total trade. As you can see, the cost basis is $1.04. It's currently $1.04. So right now there's no PL on that particular trade. And I can look at it on an individual leg basis here uh, in my uh, TD Ameritrade account. And then I can pull up my Schwab account here. 
I just added that Walmart trade here to this um, to this portfolio. But again, remember, Walmart was a trade that I placed a few weeks ago. So what I can do here is I can go to the Manage button here again. I can go to my Schwab portfolio, and I can actually edit the premiums that I collected on this Walmart spread. So let's say instead of collecting three dollars and ninety three cents on that one forty three strike, let's say I collected five dollars and fifty cents at that time, and then the one forty three puts, let's say I collected $6.50. Um, I can enter these premiums and edit the premiums that I've entered that I originally executed the trade with a few weeks ago, click on the save button. And now when I go back to my Schwab portfolio, it'll show me my Schwab portfolio and my Walmart straddle that I've sold with the original cost basis. So I sold it for $12. It's now trading at $8.73. That translates to a profit of about $327 based on the current price. So the new portfolio tool is extremely flexible and useful for traders to be able to enter your portfolios that you are either executed in the past, trades that you're entering right now into your, into your live accounts, or paper trades that you want to track going forward. And you can create as many portfolios as you like and quickly find this idea, type it into the, um, uh, click on the trade button, add it to a specific portfolio. And if you need to change the premiums, you can easily do so and track your real portfolios using Options Play's new portfolio tool. We've been using this for the past uh, couple of months, really using it. Um, it's been really easy for me to add my positions into this particular tool. It's really easy to, to find the, um, the trades and edit the premiums so that I can keep tabs of all my accounts in a single place. I don't have to log into my TD account, my Schwab account, my Tasty account to keep track of three different portfolios. I can do it all here from Options Play. And I'm curious, how many of you are tracking multiple portfolios? If you are, please type yes into the chat window, uh, meaning if you have multiple brokerage portfolios, especially around options, I see a lot of yeses. Um, this, is, this is designed to help you make it a lot easier for you to track multiple portfolios here at once. And we are still exploring automated strategies to pull in your portfolio from different brokerage firms. That is not being shelved. Um, we are still in the process of working through that right now um, and working through the institution so that we can automatically populate your portfolio. But for now, this is a really easy way for you to enter your positions, especially every time you execute them, uh, entering them into your, your options play account by clicking on the trade button and adding it to a specific portfolio, and we will do the rest for you. So that's the new portfolio tool. And I really, I encourage everyone to, like I said, set up your portfolios that you have in um, uh, the different live accounts that you have and setting up one for paper trading, just so that you can test out new strategies, add your positions to it, and then track your positions using the portfolio tool. I'd love to hear your feedback after you've used this for a period of time uh, as to what you like, what you don't like about it, and let us know so that we can easily show you how to do this. And just to walk you through this one more time, if you need to edit a position, you click on the Manage button, click on the, click on the portfolio that you want to edit, and what you can do is you can um, quickly edit these fields. You can change it, uh, the quantity, you can change the cost basis, and then you can always add your own positions here as well. So if, let's say you have a Goldman Sachs position, you can simply add it uh, manually here as well. I will tell you that it's not as easy to enter it manually using this particular uh, process. So I do encourage that you use the trade button because it's much easier to find the specific expiration dates and strike prices that you have on, a, on, the, on the platform. Once you click on the trade button, it adds it, but you can enter it manually too. So if let's say you own uh, a specific call option on Goldman Sachs. Let's say you have four contracts of the April, um, I don't know, 310 strikes and you pay $10 for it. Make sure that you enter the cost basis as the full cost basis. So for example, if you paid $4 
for a, uh, I'm sorry, $10 for four contracts, your cost basis is actually $4,000 because that's how much you paid for four contracts. So you have to make sure you enter that correctly. And if let's say you sold four contracts, the quantity would be negative and you would have to enter a cost basis of negative $4,000 for this to be correct. So those are some of the things that our platform does for you. Um, that's why I find it a little easier to enter it from the platform. But if you want to enter it manually, you have the option to do so. And if you want to delete a specific leg, you can click on mark for delete, click on save, and it will erase a leg from your portfolio. And you can always delete as many positions as you like from the portfolio. So if let's say you closed out your Walmart trade, you can click on the um, delete button for those two Walmart legs, click on save, and that will remove the position from the portfolio. A lot of questions from paper, from users that were using our old paper trading feature about how to remove positions. This is way, this way you can add as many positions as you want to your uh, paper trading portfolio and easily delete them when you're done with them or you no longer think it's a valid trade. You can easily delete these trades from your portfolio, whether it's a live or paper trading account. So that's one of the big features that we've recently in, uh, launched here in the new beta platform or the new um, options play platform. Uh, like I said, I really would love to hear your feedback after you've taken some time to use this new feature and see, tell us what you like, uh, what, thing, what improvements you think we can make to it. And that's really how we encourage uh, our teams to build based on feedback from our customers. And you can always click on the Ask Us button to send us your feedback with regards to anything that you're seeing here on the new platform, uh, not just related to the portfolio, anything in the new platform you like, you don't like, let us know. That's how we prioritize uh, enhancements on our platform. Um, and our customer service team is sitting uh, there waiting for your feedback here on the new platform. So that is the new portfolio uh, tracking and paper trading. The next thing I wanna talk about are really the three neutral strategies. So now for any symbol that you type in, you're now going to have the option of selecting three bullish strategies, which, are, which we had on the, um, the classic platform, three bearish strategies, and now you have three neutral strategies. You know, we've been doing a lot of credit spreads and a lot of customers have been asking, how can I automate the credit spreads on symbols that I want to trade? Well, that's what the new neutral strategy does. You can click on any symbol and click on the neutral strategies. And what you're going to see is a put credit spread, a call credit spread, and a short straddle. Now, you should think about these, these three strategies as um, you know automated strategies for neutral and high volatility um, environments. So implied volatility is high. So when you see the IV rank on a specific stock is relatively high, that is a time to start thinking about selling these neutral strategies. As you can see, Bristol-Myers Squid IV rank here is about 50. So it's not particularly high. It's not low, but it's not particularly high. Um, you might look for other uh, symbols with higher implied volatility ranks. And our new um, uh, trade ideas uh, will also show you the implied volatility rank of each of the ideas. So Freeport McMorrin, IV rank of 69, a little higher. Perhaps that might be one where you're more inclined to sell using credit spreads. So that might be one that you might look at. Neutral strategies, maybe if you agree with the bullish stance, you might look at selling the bear, uh, I'm sorry, the bull put spread here. As you can see for uh, the bear put, uh, the bull put spread here, I can use the midpoint and see exactly what my expected risk to reward ratio on the strategy is. And if I want to place the trade, I can click on the trade button. And if I executed this in my TD Ameritrade account, I can add that position. And now it's being tracked in my TD Ameritrade portfolio. But this is designed to help make finding credit spreads a lot simpler, a lot easier for you to analyze the trades and then add it to your portfolios that you are tracking using the new neutral strategies. Um, it follows the expiration date and strike price selection that I've been teaching for uh, over the past few years with credit spreads using 45-day expiration, 
selling the at the money and buying back a 25 delta puts uh, delta put, um, trying to get to a, a, at least a two to one risk to reward ratio. If you get a little bit better than that, that's really kind of your optimal credit spread. This feature does all of that for you and finds you that optimal credit spread. Now that doesn't mean that the risk to reward ratio will be in your favor. That's the last part that you have to uh, confirm. But as you can see here in this particular case, I'm risking 315 to potentially make 185. That's better than 33% of the width. That is a trade that perhaps personally that I would consider taking, especially if the technicals align with the view. Uh, this is really uh, where you kind of have all three things, high volatility, a bullish chart, and you have a credit spread that meets all the criteria for an optimal credit spread that I can go and trade. And I didn't have to modify anything. I just found the idea using our trade ideas. I evaluated the chart. I found the neutral strategy that I want to trade, the bull put spread. And all I have to do is click on the trade button. And if you're executing this trade, you have all of the, um, the legs to enter this credit spread into your, um, uh, into your uh, trading platform. Now, I know there's some confusion here and some questions about, you know, why is this considered neutral? Well, even though it's a bullish strategy, it is also a neutral strategy at the same time. Neutral strategies tend to have a, a bullish or bearish lean to it, and you can trade, you know, both of these strategies uh, will be profitable if the trade if the if the stock doesn't move. And this is really something you can see in the PL simulator. If let's say the stock does not move and pre Freeport McMoran stays at 4771, both strategies will make a hundred percent return, or all three strategies will make a strong return. Um, that's why they're considered neutral strategies, even though they have bullish bearish and even neutral leans or, or tilts, if you will, to each of these strategies. But they truly are the only neutral strategies, meaning these are the only strategies with options that will pay a profit if the stock does not move. Um, but you can also have a, a, a lean to it, which increases your probability of being right. So if you have a bullish view here on the stock, trading these put spreads will give you a higher probability of profit. If you have a bearish view, Creating the bearish call, uh, neutral spread will give you a higher probability of profit. So it really just depends on what your directional view is, even though you might be neutral on the underlying stock. So I hope that answered your question, um, Patricia, I think, or uh, 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 Patricia and Jay. Um, and why would you want to trade a neutral strategy? Because you have a neutral look on the stock or if you just simply want to sell. It's a matter of preference and it's a matter of what your outlook on the underlying stock is. No other strategy pays you a profit if the stock doesn't move. That's really why someone might want to trade a neutral strategy. Um, so the neutral strategies, like I said, is really designed to, to implement some of the things that I've been teaching over the past year with respect to credit spreads. Many of you have been following our credit spreads on the daily play, and you're looking to implement that yourself or replicate that yourself on symbols that you want to trade. This, is, this new neutral strategy allows you to go about doing so. And lastly, what I want to show you are the new charting features. We've been enhancing our charting features, and we're not done yet, but it's a good starting point in uh, addressing some of the feature requests that traders have mentioned with our trading platform. One, you're now able to save your indicators. So after you create your indicators on your chart, when you log out and log back in, your charts will be saved across your sessions. We've added a lot more indicators now. There are about 100 plus new indicators on the platform, including the Ichimoku Cloud. For those of you that want to add this indicator to your options play charts, you can do so now using the new platform. And we've also added drawing tools so that you can draw trend lines, Fib retracements, annotate the charts, draw arrows, everything you can possibly think of in terms of drawing. Um, we've also added daily, weekly, and monthly charts and the ability to expand these charts into a larger format. So as you can see, you can add a lot more uh, uh, indicators. You can easily uh, customize the indicators. You can add them. So for example, if you want to add the Ichimoku Cloud, you can go about doing so. And let's say you want to add some... Um, Let's see, 
Let's say you want to add MACD. You can do so very quickly using the chart, and then you can click on each of these to customize. So let's say you don't want to use 12.26.9 for MACD, you can change the parameters, click on done, it will automatically enter this. And you can now pop this out into a full screen if you want to look at the charts here on a full screen. A lot of customers also asking us for a bigger chart. So we've made the charts significantly larger so that you can look at the full view chart if for those of you that want to use the full chart. Um, so this is all included here in your new Enhance platform. There's nothing you need to do other than enabling the platform, which you simply go to the old platform, click on your name here in the upper right hand corner and select on preview new app. So a lot of new features coming in with this new platform. There's a lot more coming uh, with the new platform. This was a big uh, um, technology rewrite on our end to get these new features up. But this, the, the reason that we modernized the platform was so that we can build new features much, much quicker on the new technology platform. So we want to make sure that we first give you some big enhancements, and then there's a lot more coming down the line, including a new mobile platform, which is now live in both the iOS and Android platform. Uh, the new platform, the new technology platform allowed us to build better mobile experiences and allow us to continue to uh, build better mobile experiences that will be coming down the line. So right now you'll be able to watch video courses. You'll be able to see what upcoming webinars are. We get a lot of questions about when the next webinar is, what the next event is, how do you register? This is now all addressed in your new mobile app. You can see the weekly macro research, technical research that Rick puts out on Monday mornings. You can see our daily plays on the mobile app, and you can do some basic analysis on option strategies. And we're going to be building some of the cover call credit spread screeners into the mobile app. Uh, you're going to be able to trade, uh, look at an options chain from the mobile app. So there's a lot more enhancements coming to the mobile app, but we did get the first version out. You can now download it both in iOS and Android. Um, both right now, and, if, and I believe I have the links here. If uh, I will share the links to everyone, if you want to download the mobile app. That is for the first link I just sent is for Android and this one is for iOS. So both links are now uh, in the chat window for those of you that are looking to download the mobile app. But the portfolio tool, like I said, is the primary uh, major enhancements we've made to the new platform. I encourage everyone to go in there, set up your test portfolios, start adding some positions to your portfolio, and if you need to make any changes, click on the manage button and simply click on edit. And you can edit the different trades in your portfolio, changing the cost basis, changing the, the quantity, anything that you need, you can do so. You can just create them manually if you'd like. Uh, but the one thing to keep in mind is that you have to make sure quantities, long positions are positive, negative positions are negative, I'm sorry, short positions have negative quantity and cost basis positive for long negative for shorts. Um, and, and it's the full cost basis from a tax lot perspective. This is data, this is information that you'll be able to pull from your brokerage firm. So if you're not sure of your cost basis, you can do so from your brokerage firms. They all have your tax lot cost basis. That's what you enter into your positions. And once you save those positions, you can then track them using our portfolio tool. Um, and the number of portfolios you create, you can track them simply by selecting the portfolio that you want to take a look at. With that, what I'll do at this point is I will open this up for Q&A. But before I open this up for Q&A, I just want to reiterate, you know, one, thank you so much for your support for everyone who is a member uh, in allowing us to invest our time and efforts in building better experiences for you. You know, my role here as a chief strategy officer is to make sure that the experiences and the education that you have here at Options Play is as strong as possible and incorporates the feedback that you give us as to what you want to see from our platform and our services that we provide to you as members. So 
For those of you that are not members yet, uh, if you have if you don't have access to our platform and you want to access it, you can sign up for a full 30-day trial at optionsplay.com. You'll be able to see the new platform. You'll be able to receive our global macro research, our daily trading signals, our longer-term macro signals, which are all available to you on the mobile app. You can access these ideas on the go and potentially trade them onto your trading platform. If let's say you're, you're, you're not in front of a computer, you get a trade signal and you want to trade it, the mobile app allows you to understand the strategy, explore the strategy, make sure that it's the right strategy for you before you execute it. You know, many of you now are trading options on your phone. You know, I certainly do a fair amount of trading now on my phone and I want to make sure that sometimes the ideas that I get when I'm not in front of a computer, I can validate them. So that's why we created the Options Play mobile platform, allowing me to quickly do that um, instead of just doing it in my head. Because a lot of those things I had to analyze kind of in my head based on my uh, experience of trading. But not everyone has that knowledge and not everyone wants to do that. So the platform is designed to give you true risk or reward uh, understanding of your strategies before you place them in your brokerage account. So the new mobile platform allows you to do that. And you can access everything free of charge for 30 days at optionsplay.com. And if you do choose to subscribe, uh, becoming a full member supports us and allows us to continue to doing uh, these types of enhancements and building better options trading education experiences for you um, as a member. So with that, I want to thank everyone joining us here today. And at this point, what I'll do is I'll open this up for Q&A. I'm sure there will be a lot of questions regarding the new platform. There is both a Q&A section and a, um, a chat window. So if you have a question, please put your questions into the Q&A section and I will answer your questions from the Q&A section. Um, Real-time quotes is coming. That is one of the major enhancements that is coming down the line. Uh, a lot of requests for real-time equities and options quotes, that is something that we plan on adding. Um, we currently don't have a note section for each trade, but Matt, thank you for um, suggesting that. And I will certainly add that to the suggestions and the feedback. And Matt, please, you know, again, any suggestions that you might have, send them over to our customer service team. They're going to be able to uh, take a sense for, you know, how many people are asking for a specific feature and we'll generally prioritize that. You can also give us feedback on the platform here as well um, by uh, clicking on the feedback button. Um, this will allow you to give us um, ideas as far as what you want us to add to the, port uh, to the, to the platform. So the feedback um, tool is also a great way for you to provide thoughts as to what you want to see next on the platform. How do we put my cover calls in the portfolio? You can do your cover calls as well. So if, let's say you want to click on modify, use the strategy constructor. We have a cover call strategy, uh, long covered call, um, and you can enter the expiration date that you've sold. So let's say you have BMO, you've sold the April, I don't know, 120s. Uh, uh, you can click on trade and add it to your portfolio. Um, you can edit the premiums of the likes that you've sold it for in the manage button if you'd like. Uh, or if you just executed right now, I suggest that you add the positions immediately. This way we have the latest premiums in your portfolio, but you can add any strategy. You can create any four leg strategy, um, or even if you have more than four legs, add, you know, you trade an iron condor and a credit spread. You can do that. You can say, okay, on, uh, let's go to Bristol Myers real quick. Let's say you trade an iron condor and a, uh, um, a credit spread. You can do that using this tool. You would just enter each trade separately. You would do short iron condor, um, Let's say this was the condor that you had traded. You click on the trade button. You can add this portfolio into your paper trading. And then you can do the same thing. So now, now that the condor is added, you can then add a credit spread. Let's say you now traded a short call vertical. Click on the trade button, add that position to your paper trading portfolio. And now you have a six leg trade in Bristol Myers in your, por uh, in your paper trading portfolio. There's no limit as to how many legs you can enter on a, an, into a portfolio or even into a specific symbol. Uh, the world is your oyster from this perspective. 
Um, how do you have a role option in the portfolio? Or do you have a role option in the portfolio? And the answer is yes. So if you click on the portfolio tool, uh, let's pull up my TD Ameritrade account, for example, and I'll show you a role position. So let's take a look at my Spider 430, 439, 400 put vertical here. And let's say I want to roll this position. You click on the roll button. You can choose whether you want to roll the expiration date or just the strike prices. Maybe you want to roll this out to June because you need a little bit more time. Um, June. There we go. And let's say you want to change, you want to keep the strike prices exactly the same. You're just extending time. You're not changing the strike prices. You click on the trade button and now you have all four legs that you need to roll your April 22nd, 439, 400 put spread to the June 439, 400 put spread. Um, so you can use this roll feature here in the platform for existing positions and evaluate the positions here as well. So you can see what the old position was, what the new position looks like. You can use the PL simulator and see how they differ in terms of potential PL here on the screen. Um, so you can actually compare what did I have before to what I'm what I have in, after the roll um, side by side before you decide whether it's the right role for your portfolio. Can you transfer a trade to a different portfolio? Uh, Matt, great question. Currently, you cannot, uh, but that is an, that's something that you can uh, add to the feedback column. Um, I, I don't know that there's a lot of requests of moving trades from one portfolio to the other, but uh, certainly one that I think that you can easily delete from one portfolio and add to another one rather than a transfer. Uh, Ron, uh, you know, if you prefer tr tracking it all in one portfolio, I would just add it to your cover call portfolio, you know, and, and this is really where you don't have to be limited to what your brokerage firm has, right? You can create a, a, a cover call portfolio, a credit spread portfolio, an iron condor portfolio, and just add those positions to those portfolios. This way you kind of have everything all, in, you know, grouped in, in the way that you like it, even if it's across five actual different portfolios. So if you're doing this across, you know, different portfolios for your family, then, you know, you might want to just create one cover call portfolio to make it easier for you to track. Uh, when do you use short strangle? Uh, great question. You know, short strangle is really similar to a short straddle with sl with slightly less risk and slightly less uh, reward. Um, you know, it's a higher probability of profit strategy, but it has a lower uh, potential reward. It it's used for when you have a neutral view on a stock, usually a high volatility environment where you think that the implied volatility is going to collapse going into an earnings event, uh, you know, a stock that is sold off severely that is now starting to find a bit of a bottom. Those are usually times that you might want to consider selling a strangle. Uh, please remind us about the options play score. Great question. Um, what is the options play score? The options play score is, a, is designed to give you a, a sense for the risk to reward ratio weighted by the probability because Options trading is really a trade-off between probability and risk to reward. You have certain strategies that have very high probability of profit, but they have very poor risk to reward, and vice versa. Stocks that have uh, option strategies that have very high, uh, very strong risk to reward have very low probability. And generally speaking, you don't want to be on either side of the spectrum. I see a lot of traders that will say, "I want to trade really high probability trades," and what they lack to see is just how poor the risk or reward is and vice versa you see traders that trade these really far out of the money call options saying that i have really strong risk or reward but they forget how bad the probabilities are so you really have to look at both and how well balanced they are and it's hard to do that because if you look at a strategy like this the max reward on a, on a put is forty thousand dollars while my max risk is only one thousand nine hundred and thirty seven dollars that sounds great, but that requires the market to go to zero in order for that risk or reward to actually happen. What are the chances that between now and May, the market goes to zero, meaning every single stock in the S&P 500 is at zero? I would say that that probability is virtually zero. And because of that, and, and because of that, you know, the risk or reward that you're seeing on your screen doesn't really mean anything. 
That's why we created the options play score. The options play score looks at the realistic probability of profit with the risk reward ratio and compares different strategies side by side. And this way you get a true sense for the risk reward of each strategy. And that's what the options play score is designed to do. So as you can see, an options play score of 157, meaning it has an expected positive return on this particular trade. It doesn't mean you're going to be profitable on this trade. It just means that the probability and the risk reward is skewed in your favor. Something that's yellow means that there's no edge to this particular trade. If you traded this trade over and over and over again, you're likely going to come what somewhat flat. That's if you have no directional view. And then lastly, if you have something with a poor risk reward, so let's say I, I, I start moving the strike prices. Let's say I select some, some of these really far out of the money uh, options. And many times they look great because the risk reward is great, but the probability of profit is so low, doesn't really make a lot of sense. So it's really taking into account probability of profit and risk to reward and combining it into one score. Um, is there an indicator for pivot point at the chart? Um, what's the best indicator for reversal? Susan, um, I, there is no, I don't believe there is a pivot. You know, there are so many indicators in here. Um, I have to, let's look. You can actually search the indicators now. So you can search by pivot. Um, so yes, you can add pivot points. Now, I don't recall which specific pivot point um, you know, algorithm this is using, but it certainly has a pivot point. Um, uh, you can see there are multiple. You can use standard and you can use Fibonacci. Uh, you can use continuous or you can do, um, there's a lot of different um, features that you can now add to your uh, charts using the new charting package that I haven't even explored all of them here that are available. How do you add an indicator to the chart? You click on this indicators button here and you can search for the indicator that you want to search uh, or you can just look through the whole list. There are about, there are 100 plus indicators now that are included in your charting package. Uh, how to use the drawing tools. You click on the drawing tool uh, button here on the left-hand corner. That will activate the drawing tool. Uh, you can click on the full screen button here by clicking on the full screen button here on the right-hand side. So they're all in this top bar here, right above your chart. All of the tools that I'm referring to, you can find in the top bar of your chart. Uh, Don, we have started plays on the smalls. We we just we had a long precious metals trade that recently just hit its take profit on that. You know these are these signals only come out when they're when we find one. So it's we can't force these signals. They come out when they come out. Um, we recently just took profit on our precious metals trade, um, but there's more coming. Uh, the DeMarc indicators will not be available on our platform. They're not available pretty much on any platform uh, other than on DeMarc's platform. You can access DeMarc's research from our research team. That's what Rick and his team does every single Monday morning, every Tuesday morning, and the daily play trades that we find are using the DeMarc models to find these opportunities. But it's almost impossible to get access to their indicators yourself um, I mean, unless you pay a fairly exorbitant amount just for the indicators themselves, they cost about six grand just for the indicators themselves, not including, you know, the thousands of dollars that you typically have to pay just to access the platforms where those indicators are available. Um, so this is predominantly why DeMarc has been used largely by only institutional customers, because most retail traders aren't paying the tens of thousand dollars a year just to access these indicators themselves. Um, we pay for them and we disseminate the research to you through our research team. Ron, thank you so much. And Don, thank you so much. The Ichimoku Cloud um, webinar I thought was great and many of you have been asking for it. So now you can add it to your charts on your platform. Um, as far as changing colors on the FIB lines, that's a great question. I'd have to, uh, I'd have to look at that myself as to whether or not you can add um, 
change the colors of the fib line, fib retracements? I don't believe so, but this is something that um, we'll be able to take a look at here. Um, I don't believe that you can change the colors. Uh, you can change which ones you want to add, but you, at the moment you can't change the colors of the fib lines. Ah, another great question. And this is one of the things that we're working on. You know, can you access the hub without logging in again? Absolutely. This is one of the things we're working on so that when you access the hub, when you're logged onto the platform, when you go to the hub, you do not have to log on again. That is one of the major features that our tech team is currently working on and implementing. I know that's been a pain point is that you have to log into the hub separately. We are working on that so that you don't have to log into that separately. Uh, Michael, that is something that we will consider. Um, it's something that we, you know, the, the, the purpose of having a, a single sign on to the hub is to prevent that so that you can access the credit spread report from the hub without having to go through, um, you know, the hub itself. So, um, we are shifting over to using the hub for those reports. Is the mobile platform the iOS store? Yes, iOS store and Android. I created both, I've sent out both links in the uh in the uh chat window if you want to download the ios or the android version can you show where you save the charts you don't have to do anything jay once you've added your indicators when you log out and log back in those indicators will remain on the charts and you can just right click on anything if you want to delete so i can right click on the ichimoku cloud delete it i can um add new um um you know, things to the platform, right click it and just click on delete. Uh, or I can add, let's say, for example, MACD. And there will be an X button on the indicator that I can click on and delete. Uh, but you don't have to do anything once you've added your indicators. So let's say I've added Ichimoku clouds. Uh, when you log out and log back in, the Ichimoku clouds will be on your screen. Uh, I love the new platform, but how do you switch back to the standard platform? Great question. You can go to your name here again on the upper right hand corner, click on the menu button, and all you have to do is click on the exit preview. When you click on exit preview, it will take you back to the classic platform. Uh, Jay, currently saving more than one cha chart layout is not something that we are offering, but that is something that is in the roadmap. I know a lot of people have been asking for that. Uh, yes, this webinar is recorded along with the slides so that you can follow along at your own pace. Uh, yes, IV rank is based on the high and low price of the, un no, high and low price of the implied volatility over the last 12 months, not of the stock's price. Jose, uh, membership is $100 a month or $750 for the year. How do you change where the symbol on the new platform? Oh, you click on the uh, search button next to the symbol um, and you sh will be able to type in your symbols. Um, click on the little search button uh, next to the symbol itself to enter the symbols. Uh, we are making that process a little easier where you can just simply type in, uh, you can just start typing. You don't have to click first. You can just type GS, type a symbol, um, but that is something that's in the roadmap here as well. Would you be putting this, putting together the suggested put credit spread and call credit spread to give you the perfect neutral strategy in Iron Condor? Um, not necessarily. You know, the question was, can you use the neutral strategies, the two legs to create an Iron Condor? Or actually what you'd be creating is um, likely an Iron Butterfly. Uh, um, you know, you can create an Iron Condor from it as well. But, you know, from my perspective, you're usually not bullish and bearish at the exact same time, right? And if you truly are neutral, you know, selling a straddle will collect a lot more premium here because as you can see here, I'm collecting $650. Here I'm collecting $1,000. That's about $1,700. Selling the straddle 
collects $3,300, double that, right? Granted, it has unlimited risk, but you're collecting significantly more premium to offset that risk. So uh, if you're truly looking for a, a neutral strategy, you might want to turn the straddle into a butterfly. That is the strategy that I would use rather than using the, the two legs of, an iron, of the credit spreads in my opinion. Um, the, the credit spreads is still going to live in the hub for now. Uh, we are working on building it into the trade ideas section so that you'll have a list of all of the cover calls, the credit spreads, the, the, the um, short puts report in the platform. And that's, this is why we built a new platform so that we can build those new features into the platform much quicker. Um, so that is coming uh, down the line. Is the liquidity, uh, so that the liquidity spreadsheet, uh, the credit spreads, the earnings calendar, that's now all in the hub, which you can access in the education and resources section here uh, at the top uh, bottom, uh, at the top right here of your screen. Am I able to enter my max risks and max gain into the portfolio? I'm not sure what you mean by enter the max gain or, law, uh, or max, risk or gain into a portfolio. Portfolio is your, your actual trades. So I'm not sure what you mean by that, uh, Jonathan. If you don't mind rephrasing, I'm happy to try to answer that question. Uh, Frank, um, you know, the if, if you're referring to when does the trade, when do the trade ideas update, they update around 6 p.m. Uh, every single night. Can we see all open position in different account? Um, Mikesh, great question. Um, currently, no, but that is something that we can add to the list of uh, feature requests. Uh, a, a credit spread is a neutral spread. So if we refer to neutral spreads, we usually refer to credit spreads, calendars, uh, straddles and strangles, iron condors, iron butterflies, those are tr traditionally considered neutral spreads uh, and certainly credit spreads. What is the flip trade feature? The flip trade is simply just saying if you want to flip the trade. So if you want to flip the long straddle to a short straddle or vice versa, the flip just does it for you very quickly. I need to know 21 days to expiration. How do I get that information? Well, in your portfolio tool, you can actually sort based on expiry date. So if you look at your portfolio, if you wanna know which ones are expiring first or which ones are expiring last, you can click on sort by expiry date and we'll sort it based on the number of days to expiration. So as you can see, the, one, the closest one that I have is Pepsi that expires in 35 days. You can use this tool to tell you which symbols are 21 days from expiration. Very, very quickly, they bubble up to the top of the portfolio. Uh, Ralph, currently we don't have multiple charts yet, but that is one of the features that I'm trying to add to the, uh, to, to the portfolio. Um, uh, I'm sorry, to the charting package. Uh, changing a symbol, click on the search button here on the upper left hand corner. Uh, what is the optimal display settings for size and resolution of the new app? So Les, I would say that the optimal, meaning the minimum screen size is really about um, uh, 1400 by 900 on a, you know, on a laptop, um, which is the old, uh, you know, probably 2013, like Mac standard size. Um, but anything larger than that is obviously better. Uh, Matt, you know, the the, uh, the credit spread report, having it more frequent. Thank you for that request. Um, I think that that's uh, something that we can uh, fairly easily accommodate. So that's something that I can add to the 
to the features list. If you also don't mind just sending us some feedback on that so that we kind of have a sense for how many customers are asking for that. You know, a short triangle, usually we look at about a 25 to 35 delta as a starting point for a short triangle. Do you have any way to access webinars that we were not able to attend? Matt, I highly recommend that you download the mobile app because the mobile app has a listing of all the previously recorded webinars, including how to get to the access to the replay links and the slides. So I encourage you to download the mobile app. You'll be able to see all of the webinars that you recently just missed. It'll have a list of all the ones that, that we just uh, hosted and how to access the replay links from the mobile app. Is there a list of most liquid and options uh, options active stocks? So um, we, uh, this is something that we also are looking, are, are building a, a scan for so that you can, in your trade ideas, scan for all of the liquid symbols. Um, as you can see, we've already started to build some of that into our trade ideas. So you can see what the liquidity of each of the trade ideas are, um, but we are working on scans so that you can find stocks just on liquidity, just on implied volatility rank, um, and being able to screen for those stocks using options play. Is it possible to generate ideas for diagonal spreads? Well, you know, anything that's bullish is considered a, a good candidate for diagonal spreads. If you're looking at Freeport McMorrin, uh, right? This is a bullish play. This is easily a candidate for a diagonal spread. Uh, bullish, long called diagonal, um, and you can easily create that using options play, uh, creating that diagonal spread that you'd like. Uh, no, you don't have to pay any extra for the mobile app. If you're a member, you already have access to the mobile app. All you have to do is download onto the app from the app store, put in your login credentials. You already have access to the mobile platform. Great question. Do newly created portfolios are controlled by you or whom? It's controlled... Uh, I'm not sure the question, uh, the platform, the, the, the positions in the portfolio are controlled by you. Um, in terms of margins, that's controlled by your brokerage firm. We don't calculate margins. We don't touch that. You know, we just track the P&L of the portfolio. How do I remove support and resistance lines that are on the chart? Currently, you cannot. Um, so that's, that's something that is permanently on your chart. Uh, both straddles and strangles are neutral strategies. The difference between a straddle and a strangle is that a straddle, you're selling the same strike. A strangle, you're selling two different strike prices. Um, so for example, um, just to exaggerate it so that you can see the difference, um, you know, the, on the left, I have a strangle. On the middle, I have a straddle. Straddle, as you can see, they're both the same strike price. On a strangle, there are different strike prices that I'm selling. What searches do you offer? Ron, I'm not sure I understand your question. If you don't mind, what do you mean by searches? Uh, Anil, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Can you explain the stars and the liquidity? Yeah, so basically the, the more stars, the more liquid it is. Green means good liquidity, yellow means average, red means poor liquidity. Um, for those of you that missed the Ichimoku cloud training, I suggest that you download the mobile app. You'll be able to access that recording and the link to that from the mobile app. Um, okay, I think those are all of the questions for today. Thank you so much for your time here today. I really appreciate it. I hope that this is useful to everyone. I hope that this is, um, uh, you know, new features that you'll be able to leverage and use in your trading, especially the portfolio tool. It has been invaluable to me for me to track my portfolios across my multiple portfolios at once. I log into my options by platform every morning to see where my positions are instead of having to log into multiple trading platforms to do so. 
It allows me to quickly stay on top of, you know, each individual name and what the trends are uh, for each stock. And if I need to make additions or, or, or changes to it, I can easily do so using the new portfolio tool. So please give us your feedback. You know, the neutral strategies is something that we leverage as well in helping us quickly find the expiration date and strike prices on credit spreads. And I hope you'll be able to leverage those as well. And the mobile platform has been uh, really useful for me when I'm on the go and I'm not in front of a computer to still look at ideas, to analyze my ideas and look at uh, some of the um, webinars uh, that are coming up. So with that, I have Hope that you guys have a great trading day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this session. I hope that you guys are able to use the new features and please send us your feedback, uh, either using the feedback button or the questions ask us button if you have any additional questions on the platform. But just one last time, if you have not accessed the new platform, click on your name in the upper right-hand corner, select preview new app, and that will allow you to enable the new platform. With that, Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great trading day and I'll see you guys here next week. Uh, we have a fantastic new addition to the options education team that I am excited to be um, uh, introducing next week. So I hope that you'll be able to join me next Thursday as we talk about options pricing with our latest addition to the options play team. With that, thank you so much. Have a great trading day and we'll send you both the recording and the slides as, as soon as we finish processing this today. Have a good night.